Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this uh, coming set of videos, we will talk about NiceJS with MySQL and type ORM, which is actually an ORM, which will help you to deal with the MySQL entities. In previous set of videos, we talked about how NiceJS can deal with the MongoDB. We were using Mongo's module, NPM module, and we were able to insert, update, delete data from customer model. Okay. In this video, we'll move further and we'll talk about NestJS with MySQL. Okay. Here we need these three different modules, NestJS type ORM, type ORM and MySQL or MySQL 2. Okay. These minimum three uh, modules you have to install. So what you can do is npm install minus minus save NestJS type ORM, type ORM and MySQL. Okay. Now coming back to how we should first configure the database connection. So type ORM is already, I mean, MySQL with NestJS already providing us this module NestJS type ORM where you just need to provide the connection type like type is MySQL it can be Postgres based on database configuration type it will actually try to establish a connection based on the host port username password you are provided okay and you also need to provide all the entities database entity classes which you are going to create in your project so this is like in previous video, we were doing mongoose module dot for root and we were providing the MongoDB URL. In same way, here when we are talking about NestJS with MySQL, you have to do type or module dot for root. Provide your database connection configuration, which contains entities, username, password, host, port, type. Okay. Based on this, it will try to connect to the database. And if it is there is a failure, it will not start your NestJS application. Okay, once this is done, this is a step one. First of all, you install the module, then create a database module, put this type RM module dot for root. Currently, we will be hard coding these configurations, but these configurations which we are passing username, password, these can be configured from a config module. We will be writing one separate module, which will be config module, which will feed the configuration data throughout the application at different places like port, environment, um, MySQL details, logging details, when to enable logger, when to disable logger, all these things. Okay. And later what we will do, we will create entities like here. So this we are using MySQL with type ORM. Type ORM is actually an ORM, which is actually you can say I uh, have a similar kind of concept which we see in Java entity or entity ORMs like Spring ORM and all Hibernate where we used to use these annotations, annotation entity, annotation column, annotation primary generated column, same kind of concept we are using. We are using these TypeScript annotations, entity, primary generated column. So ID is a primary key. First name is a column. Is active is a Boolean column. So this is actually MySQL table we are creating user entity. Okay. And to the database, while starting the database, we have to pass all the entities here and in the entities array. Step one, this is step two and step three is I'm started writing my feature module, which can be user module, product module, uh, any other module. And there I will be injecting this user entity using type or a module dot four feature. This is same as we have done in the Mongoose module with NestJS. First, we, we were initializing the connection. Then we were creating a schema model. Then in the third, we, we created a customer module in the customer module dot uh, there we have written mongoose module dot four feature and provided a customer model, right? In this video, it's uh, just a difference is we are using MySQL. Step one, we have to type our module dot four root, provide configuration. Step two, create your all entities, user, product, customer, item, cart, all the entities which you need. Step three, now start creating your feature modules, user module, product module, and in those modules, you have to explicitly specify that this module wanted to access the user entity so that in the services, we can inject the user repository, which is a time or type or terminology, user repository, product repository that we will be injecting in the user service. And through the controllers, you will be able to do any kind of operation on this table. OK, so we will also talk about how type ORM works what is type ORM and in coming set of videos we will talk about auth APIs using JWT and all but in the coming videos we will talk our focus will be on MySQL defining the relationship between the different entities how to 
configure the database connection, how to create all these entities, how to define the relationship in these entities, one to one, one to many, many to many. So we can pick any kind of use case like a shopping cart application where we have a different entities and we wanted to define the associations and all. Okay, we can pick anything for this. So let's get started in the next video. What we first we will do is we have to actually set up Docker for this. Okay. I mean, we will be using the MySQL as a container and Node.js as a container. Node.js will talk to MySQL for accessing it. So we will have a MySQL container. You will, the Node.js container and MySQL will be able to talk to each other. Then we will write our code and we'll start from there. Thanks everyone.